Lots of big shots are coming to Anniston this week. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Thank you for joining us for East Alabama Now Local News. I'm Mike Stedham. The CMP Competition Center in Anniston is hosting an international shooting tournament this week for air rifle and air pistol shooters. It's the 13th annual Dixie Double Competition, open to all age categories. About 150 competitors from across the U.S. and Canada are expected to take part in this 60-shot match, according to CMP marketing specialist Antonio Davis. They prepare and they practice during the week. They, have, they come in. Some people even come here to practice during our open night sessions. And what they do is they put a lot of time in it to win these competitions because, you know, they use these different competitions to get EIC points, you know, to, to maybe potentially one day get up to the Olympic level in shooting. So when it comes to preparation, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of practice to actually get good and even compete in, on an international level. Counting the participants and spectators, Davis says the week-long match should bring about 500 people to the CMP facility. For more information about the tournament and the shooting range, go to thecmp.org. Another sort of tournament will be held at the Oxford Civic Center this weekend, but instead of air rifles, these competitors will be using their bare hands and feet. Chad Smith of Smith's Martial Arts Center in Oxford is coordinating an event Saturday that's expected to attract competitors from several states. So we've got this tournament coming up. We've got teams uh, or students coming from all over uh, the southeast, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, uh, North Alabama, and of course right here uh, in our hometown of Oxford. So they're all coming. Um, we've got a full day on Saturday planned. So competition will start that morning and go all the way throughout the day. Uh, students will compete in forms competitions, flag sparring, sparring competitions, and also board breaking. Smith says tickets for the spectators are $10 each, and for that fee, they will get to see a full day of martial arts displays. The group will have five or six rings set up at the Civic Center floor, and most of the events will be happening simultaneously throughout the tournament. The action will feature students with many skill levels. The age groups, we start them out at uh, about four years old. So we'll have uh, competitors that will be here at age four to 74. <laughs> uh, we do have some older competitors that uh, also get out there and, and they do it. When East Alabama Now Local News returns, we'll tell you how you can help the Anniston Police Department brighten the Christmas season for many local families. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Residents of the Pleasant Valley community north of Jacksonville will have to adjust their traffic patterns for the next few months. Starting today, Rocky Hollow Road will be closed for all but local traffic while a bridge is being repaired. Officials with the Calhoun County Road Department say they expect to have the road reopened by the end of January. Anniston police officers are making plans to brighten up Christmas for some children in the city. Starting Tuesday, the department will begin collecting toy donations at its headquarters building at 174 West 13th Street. The public's invited to drop off their donations through December the 9th, and the toys will be distributed by the department at its headquarters building on December the 16th. If you want information about how to help, call the department at 256-238-1800. Meanwhile, the Anniston police are still gathering canned goods and other non-perishable food items to help needy families with their Thanksgiving dinner. Donations are being collected in the police department lobby through November the 16th. 
We'll have the forecast coming up next. For metal buildings in Alabama and the Southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. Here's a look ahead at our seven day forecast. Warm days and cool nights ahead with only a slight chance of rain later in the week. Thanks for joining us for East Alabama Now Local News. Remember to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening for a look at what's happening in our community. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media platforms.